Hello everybody. Um, I hope you're having a great day, whatever you're doing and you're enjoying the weather. As you can see, it's really, really hot here and I'm enjoying it before the weather turns because there are some clouds out at the moment and knowing the British weather, it will probably snow tomorrow. So in my last video, I wanted to open up uh, the topic of how we resolve issues and conflicts when they arise amongst siblings. And if there's a communication breakdown, how do we get both parties talking again and in the previous mar in the previous video in the margin i put down that although it's it's a generalization it's quite widespread that we often are hardwired to focus on and go towards the negative uh, before the positive and this is um this is you know relevant and evident ab above the board you know uh with lots of different different situations and circumstances uh but if someone said to you um you know give me something you like about your sibling uh your brother or your sister uh sorry something you don't like about your sibling you would more often than not be able to reel off the negatives before the positives and if you had um a positive it would take you longer to think about um and with some of the people i've worked with in the past this has become quite evident and i find that um a little bit alarming um but again what we focus on grows and so one of the tools that has worked i can hear a police siren it wasn't me i promise um some of the things that i find to be beneficial is opening up the concept of vibrational linguistics or, you know, the emotions, you know, the energy behind words uh, and spoken word. And we know this to be true because words hold a frequency and they affect our emotions and then our emotions affect our behaviour. And so making children uh, or young people aware of this and getting them to switch where they're spending their energy and their emotional energy is a great way to kind of get them to come back together and reconnect. Um, and so, yeah, with the little ones, it's really interesting to watch them, you know, when they have had a fallout to, okay, sit with that, process that, but then when they've called down to remind them what it is they actually like about their sibling and get them to really start to think about what they like and this just basically builds builds it, it, it builds uh, stronger bonds um, it helps with self-love and it helps with respect in older age um, and so it's not to cancel out the the issue in itself but it's also to say although these feelings may be true and that's how you're feeling at the moment what are the positives what do you like about that person remind them of a time when their relationship was working and it may not happen overnight, but eventually a lot of this will become second nature and that in the long run will help their relationships throughout their life. Um, so, yeah, and also, I'm not sure if I mentioned before, uh, how this relates to uh, my, my niche, which is digital detoxing, is often uh, when we're online, we're watching TV, you know, we're... we're wrapped up in computer games we're clicking scrolling we're often trying to keep busy subconsciously because we find it hard to actually just sit with ourselves and so what coming offline allows us to do is to look at these things consciously in a little bit more detail and then when we go back online um we have a different a different um approach to what we're we're digesting and what we are being shown um so yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, please click and subscribe. And if you're watching this on Instagram, please let me know in the comments uh, your views on this. And if you, you know, what, what tools and uh, processes do you have in place to get your loved ones and your little ones reconnecting and communicating? Um, I hope that made sense. Uh, I am opening up another digital detox experience on the 1st of May and you're all invited to join. So please uh, drop me a DM or um, let me know if there's anyone in your family that you think will benefit from this. And 
in the other digital detoxes that I've done, um, I've actually worked with parents who have tried the processes on their children with absolute uh, fantastic outcomes. So yeah, I will be discussing that in another video, um, but I hope that this kind of makes sense and I look forward to hearing uh, your thoughts and your comments and I will catch up with you soon. So have a great day guys, take care, bye.